What is going on? <laughs> How's it going? Um, this is going to be good. This is going to be really good. And you're going to want to not only use it, listen to it, really think about what it is, but you're going to want to share it. I can promise you that. And the reason you're going to want to share this is because I'm going to bring so much value to you. This is going to help you out a lot. This is something that we all know, but sometimes we don't do enough of. And this has to do with a couple of things. Number one, the conversation that we are having with ourselves. Isn't that crazy, right? Think about this. Look at the conversations that you have with yourselves by listening to what you say to others, looking at what you text message to others, what you email to others, and just your overall message. Because that's where your results come from. You're like, what are you talking about? Okay, so I have people who may attempt to have a pity party for themselves. They may attempt to say why things aren't working and, and blame and speak negatively about a situation or where they want to go or why it's not working out yet. And they'll start sending these messages out to every single person, everybody that they encounter, everybody that they talk to that day. When things aren't going that way, they take that cup of negativity. That, that's a jug. There's a jug of negativity. And they're out just pouring it into everybody. Here, here you go. Here's some negativity for you. Here's some negative thoughts for you. Here's some uh, uh, non-positive conversation for you. Here's my pity party for you. This is why this isn't happening. Everybody get a cup of what I have, and it's unfortunate, not me, but of the person, because that's what, that's the space that they're living in. And then there's the other person. You ever know that other person, when you walk up to me, like, hey, what's up? They're like, man, everything's good. It's going good. It's looking good. And it's on the way to something better. And they're like, here you go. Bam. Here you go. Have some of that. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'll take it. I want some of that. See, the people that you get to have those conversations with, whether they're positive or they're negative will determine how they react or feed into what you're doing, what you're saying and how you're being. Sometimes there are people who are negative and when you hear them talk to somebody else who's negative, oh, wow, they go in. They're like, oh my gosh, guess what happened to me? And then they go, well, if that's what happened to you, let me tell you about what happened to me. And they, they, you know, they share the negativity and the negativity is linked together. So they're bouncing negative energy, negative frequency off of each other, right into each other and reinforcing it. And then when a positive and a negative person, get it, negative, positive, just like those things. When a negative and po positive person, when they have a conversation, it don't even work out right. Because the negative person is like, man, you can't, it's, why are you so positive? You, yeah, uh, when you talk to them, they're like, how you doing? Oh, wait, I know how you're doing. <laughs> People say that to me all the time. Oh, wait, I know how you're doing. You're just doing amazing, aren't you? And I'm just like, yeah. It's a decision that I made the same way that person made a decision to be negative. The same way as when a negative person tries to tell a positive person something about negativity and it's like you feel like they're just, just un, they have a, a garbage can or a trash bag full of the nastiest stuff and they're, they're just trying to give it to you and you're like, oh my gosh, get this negativity off me. I can't, even, I can't talk to this person another second. You, some people are so negative when you're done talking to them, you feel like you got to run home and take a shower because they're so negative. But anyways, my whole point is this. Your thoughts become things. Your conversation becomes things. Every single thing, the energy, the frequency, the level, the mindset, all of it becomes something. So be cautious. Be careful of what you're putting out there and also what you're receiving. Look at your last five text messages, last 10 text messages, last emails. Look if there's any negativity in there anywhere from you going out. And then look also what's coming in and then go look at the text messages and see what people have said, what their positivity is. 
Chances are you're going to attract what you are in your life. The type of people that you feel the most comfortable with, that you message the most, most they're going to be like you. Majority of time, I mean, we're all different, but I hope you guys got the point. I hope this makes sense to somebody. Use this message. Listen, I had this conversation, so you didn't have to. You didn't have to come up with this. You didn't have to share. You All you got to do is share it with somebody because I had the conversation on your behalf. If you know that there's someone who is negative or positive, however they are, make sure you use this for them because we always need a constant reminder of who we're being, how we need to be, and the direction that we need to go because it's all about improving and being conscious. So with that being said, that's my time. Yes, life and death is in the power of the tongue. Remember that. Thank you so much. Share it with somebody. Go to my YouTube channel. Grab it. Like, subscribe, share it. Give this message to somebody else because everybody could use something positive in their life. And if you have positivity in you, you're, you need to give it to somebody. And if you have negativity in you, then you need this for sure. I'm just trying to do my part. With that being said, that's my time. Mr. Vermillion Serve, I'm out of here.